Ah. Damon Brown, 478, making Georgia in the building. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, he says, keep Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay. Oh, yeah, because you, you've been – Have you seen the buzz? I've, I've been seeing the buzz, man. I, I've definitely been seeing it about, you know, his back and forth, his dilemma, where does he want to play. What you think? Fake this, realness? Um, no, no, I think it's real in a sense because – being a guy who's not to that level of contracts, but a guy who played for a team for four years, played for another team for four years. Before I left Buffalo, man, I was torn. Like, even though I was kind of pissed with the situation and I was definitely upset with, you know, the 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 new management and new, you know, suits that were in the building, you still wanted to stay because it was like, yo, these are my guys. See, these are my brothers, guys that I've, you know, kind of grown up in the league with. They see me get married. They see me have children. And you get invested in the community as well. So it's like, man, you know, playing wise, like, it was probably a better situation for me to go over here. But you just are torn because your heart is there because that's all you've known. So that's like, I could definitely understand that feeling. And I think even in Pittsburgh, not the first time when I was about to hit the market, but that last time I was like, dang, like, I ain't really trying to leave. Like, you know, like, I love it here. This is fun. But then at the same time, you're like, ah, oh, man, I don't know if this is going to make the most sense, this and that. And, you know, things kind of work out the way that they do. But for Aaron Rodgers, when you think about his level, it's like, dude, you can pick essentially any team you would want to go to. Like, that's a whole nother ball game. And you know money isn't even an issue for you now. So it's just kind of like you really get to decide, like, man, do I really want to stay in Green Bay or do I want to go – to one of these other teams that I know they're going to have pieces there for me, or I know they'll make even more accommodations for me. Or sometimes you just need that fresh start. That's the other part. And I think for him, man, seeing other guys do it and be successful, Tom Brady did it. You see, um, oh, John Blank, it was a couple other guys. Oh, Matt into, Stafford. Yeah, Stafford. Absolutely. I mean, it He's wasn't, yeah, it wasn't it, his choice, but still. Right. But you've seen guys now leave where they were at for long periods of time and still have instant success. So if you're Aaron Rodgers, that definitely, you know, comes to the picture now. Whereas beforehand, you might you might have not thought that you could have done it that way. But even dating back to what Peyton Manning did, he was able to yeah. leave and go to another place and win, man. So that has to be on his mind as well because we know for him, he's going to be heavily evaluated on getting back to another Super Bowl or not. Prior to this season, I mean, that was the thing, right? It was like, oh, man, he's great, he's great, he's great. But now seeing him fall again short of getting back to the game, now people are looking at him differently. Now they're like, well, maybe he's not this quarterback that we think he is because he can't get it done in these moments versus a Jimmy Garoppolo, baby. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, in a sense, man, I could definitely – I definitely think it has some validity to it. Any feelings on the Pittsburgh connection and the offer on the table? Uh, honestly, I think that there is an offer on the table solely because with Kevin Colbert, this is a – weird type of season for us right we've never been in a situation where we didn't have a franchise quarterback but we have a ton of resources to go out and acquire a guy now i don't necessarily think that it would be the best move per se because of what it could do potentially to the rest of the roster but at the same time it's like if he has interest and we know he's arguably the best quarterback in the league coming off of back-to-back mvp seasons why wouldn't you put that offer out there and that's kind of how i looked at it so In that sense, like, I do think it has some validity. Now, I don't know what his level of interest is in Pittsburgh with whether or what our offer was. Right, right. If that offer and interest is better than what Denver could potentially be offering him or even what Green Bay could be offering him as well to come back there. So that's the part for me where it's like just because it's an offer, I don't necessarily it doesn't guarantee that he would be wanting to come to us anyways. But I do think that there is some validity to that based on you know, our cap situation, the need that we have, and knowing that Kevin Colbert does not want to rebuild. He wants to make sure that they stay relevant, that this team is still, you know, in that conversation. And unfortunately, with Mason right now, you have to do a lot more work around him to keep us in that conversation right now. Whereas you bring in Aaron Rodgers, and we've said this plenty of times. Now it goes back to that model of it doesn't matter who's a wide receiver. If you got Aaron Rodgers, he should be the force multiplier. He should be able to make any of these guys out here look way better. And that's kind of that, that's kind of like the thought process that I could see it being with the Steelers looking at uh, Aaron Rodgers in that regard. Yeah, and then you can maybe even bring in free agents mm-hmm. for cheaper too. Right. But like quality mm-hmm. veterans that are looking for the Super Bowl, exactly. looking to compete. Yeah. Just because you have Aaron, you you saw what happened with the Bucks yeah. <laughs> these Absolutely, past couple dude. seasons. Like Jesus, people are going in for cheap. 
They were yeah, going Leonard Fournette is signing on the cheap. Yeah. You got Richard Sherman mm-hmm. coming over there for nothing. Yeah, and it's, yeah they ended up having Even AD, a stack lineup. They got AD for AD. What, crumbs the first year. When he won the Super Bowl, he was paid crumbs. Yeah. Exactly. So that's why I'm – dude, I didn't even think it was a realistic option. Mm-hmm. But if it is – I'm yeah. for it just for all those reasons. Like yeah. I, I want to compete as much as I ha- had my whole it, thing it, last year right. with the fake fans calling for Aaron Rodgers and stuff. Mm. Now Ben's retired. This is where yeah. we're sitting. Aaron Rodgers is better than Mason Rudolph. If we could bring him in, this is mm. the franchise type of guy you're going to be looking for anyway, yeah. even if it's only for two two or three years. Right. And that's Give yourself that, that chance. And I feel like that's the part that people forget because they're so gung-ho on – well, you don't pay you don't pay these type of quarterbacks that type of money. Don't bring in Aaron Rodgers. He's aging. Don't bring in Aaron Rodgers. He's always complaining. Don't bring in Aaron Rodgers. This and that. And it's like, well, none of those free agent quarterbacks that we've talked about, Mason Rudolph, Dwayne Haskins, or any of these drafted quarterbacks are going to be the type of guys to draw free agents in for cheap. Aaron Rodgers is that type of guy. People forget that. Like you said, Tampa Bay was a prime example. As soon as Brady went down to Tampa, Tampa became the hot spot for free agents. Sue and Dominican Sue, remember, he went there. Everybody was trying to go. It's like, yo, I want to go. I want to go. Shady McCoy, what do you do, man? Hey, y'all got, y'all got space for me? I, I, I can come play. I can use some reps. Like, everybody wanted to go there, man, offensively, defensively. And that's the part for me where I say, yeah. Now, imagine you start getting one, one or two of those marquee or, or, or not marquee, but just higher end free agents coming to you on a discount because you got this quarterback here. Now, all of this, oh, you've killed the roster. We don't have the pieces goes out the window because now you got these guys coming in there for team friendly deals only because of the fact that Aaron Rodgers is there and he gives them the best chance to win a Super Bowl. So for me, man, I can definitely see that being the case. No different if he goes to Denver. I think it will be a similar. I think you'll see guys wanting to go to Denver with him because he's that type of quarterback. He's that type of draw. And guys need rings. Guys got to get Super Bowls because that's what it is. That's how we judge people now. So for me, man, I, I could definitely see that being the case, man. And that's why I still entertain it. It's that time of year, baby. It's March. And us Irish folk out here, we're always trying to get lucky, baby. You know how we do. So it hit me the other day. I'm in here, you know, Rub a dub dub, scrubbing in the tub, have my ultra premium collection. You know that two in one conditioner for the hair. You know the the, the body wash, the lawnmower 4.0. Did I tell you by the way that it's waterproof, Deke? The waterproof one. You know, you know with the, with the light on it. So I'm in there right. and I, I'm getting all groomed up, feeling nice and neat, smelling immaculate. I get out, I hit the nose trimmer as well. Can't have any of those weed whackers in the nose. You know, I'm saying had to get up out of there. And I Facetime wifey, cause you know. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, Deke, I'm feeling good over here. I was feeling good. So I was like, man, it might be that time. I'm like, hey, babe, what's up? She gave me that look. I said, oh, whoa. And then the phone cut off. I didn't get lucky that day. But I felt like I was about to get lucky that day because of Manscaped, baby. So with that being said, don't mess around, baby. Do not mess around. Make sure you go to manscaped.com. And as we always say, if we're going to talk about it, we got to have action for you. Use the promo code MOS. Get that 20% off on all your purchases plus free shipping worldwide. So that way, you too can get lucky like yours truly. And smell good. And I can assure you on this. When you are finished taking care of yourself, glamouring it on up and hitting it with that lawnmower 4.0, your delicate twins will certainly thank you, baby. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. 